Hey guys. Hey. I am Meg Schaub. <laughs> and, all right guys, I don't want to brag, but I get laid everywhere. <laughs> but Los Angeles. <laughs> um, okay, especially in New York City, marathon, mile six. I'm jogging. I'm doing it, you guys. I'm running the marathon. And this like super hot dude from the East Coast runs up next to me. And he's all, hey, what are you doing after this? You want to get a beer? Slice of pizza? You want to get laid? <laughs> Sir, I mean, we're on, we're on mile six. We've got 20.2 to go. Yes, I want to get laid. <laughs> so, there's that. By the way, I'm really glad you guys laughed because I wore a sports bra for that bit. <laughs> It's itchy. <laughs> so, I, I suffer from extreme claustrophobia. And, uh, and uh, that basically translates to I have a rational fear of enclosed spaces and also like a loss of airwave. I didn't think it was a big deal. A lot of people do. Until I started dating this guy recently. And uh, it was going great. Like, we were really, we were really great together. And we were one night back at my place, having sex. And as he was about to finish, he placed his hand over my mouth. <laughs> Side note, I never disclosed to him that I was extremely claustrophobic. So I am freaking out in my head. I am going through all the Fs. Fear, fight, flight, faint. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, Meg, you gotta dig deep, all right? Dating in LA is hard. You see a future with this guy. What would any normal, well-adjusted, healthy girl do? I throat punched him. <laughs> so I'm single again. <laughs> he never called me, <laughs> cause he's dead. You guys, I love, I love, I love plastic surgery. <laughs> I do, I do. I recently got what's called a mommy makeover, um, except I don't have any kids. <laughs> but if I can give anyone some real advice about it, don't do it for, like, don't do it for society, don't do it because you want to look like Kylie Jenner, don't do it for some man, because relationships will come and go. But these girls last forever. <laughs> and they're glorious. <laughs> You know, when I moved to Hollywood to pursue comedy, uh, a wise man once told me that I would do very, very well as long as I always remembered your comedy, not glamour. My grandpa's really mean and <laughs> truthful. So, it's been a little bit of a rough week. Um, like I said, I just got back from Atlanta and there's a lot of anger going on in the world right now, you guys. Clearly, it's called the elephant out in the room. People are really ticked off. People are doing crazy things. It's got me ticked off. And I'm obviously talking about the guy at my gym who gets on the treadmill directly next to me, even though there are 17 open treadmills all the way down the line. Like, bro, what are you doing? All right? Back up. You're crowding me. I have claustrophobia. Good. Don't do that when you go to the gym. You guys, I'm single. <laughs> I know, it's shocking. My crushes um, were really off base growing up, I've learned recently. I had a crush, you guys, I had it bad. For Jonathan McKnight, New Kids on the Block, he's gay. After that, I really, I really uh, thing for Lance Bass, NSYNC, gay, yeah. And the final one was uh, Chris Benoit. Uh, WWF, World Time, Three Wrestling Federation Champion. He murdered his whole family. Um, that one's on me. That one's my bad. My bad, guys. <laughs> I was in D.C. a few weeks ago, you guys. I have a friend. She's like real high up in politics. Like, can't tell you what she does, but she's pretty cool. And she wanted me to go to this awesome party with her. But she thought my outfit was a little inappropriate. So she, I borrowed from her a black top, a black skirt, and black boots. Black top, black skirt, black boots. I paired it with a cute yellow belt. So we're at the party, and I'm talking to this guy who is approximately 37 lines of cocaine into the evening. And the guy takes a step back, like mid-sentence, and he like slurs at me and goes, 
Who invited Batman to my party? <laughs> I look like Batman, and my friend never told me! So rude! Three, their problems become your problems. Have you guys ever noticed on a group of friends, like Vanessa doesn't like Becky, nobody can like Becky? My friends take it to a whole new level. I'm down in like Koreatown with a girlfriend of mine. She's born and raised, so she's like super small, but savage. And I look over, and her name's Lucy, and she's getting into it with a group of Korean girls. And I'm like, I must be Korean, but like friend law says, I have to suss out the situation. So as I'm walking up, Lucy switches from Korean to English, long enough for me to hear, and my friend will fuck up you and your friends too, bitch. <laughs> Lucy, uh, <laughs> what friend are we talking about? <laughs> Did you call for backup? I learned Korean really fast that night, you guys. Nai, kasame, chuchima, salum, teruba. What does that translate to? Don't hit my boobs, they're new. <laughs> I'm Mike Chabi, you guys. Thank you so much.